What I'm initially hearing for this connection is both you and your person, your higher selves are already down to be together and they are moving on whether your human self gets on board or not. Okay, so I'm seeing like they've already made a decision and if you and your person don't get your heads out of your asses, you could definitely miss out on a timeline that could be very beautiful, right? You, you have free will, so you can, you know, find another person. That's great. But it seems like both you and your person are either you're holding on to pride or you're holding back communication. Like on your end, it looks like either you're not being fully honest with yourself or you're afraid to reach out to them first because on their end, they either feel like you want nothing to do with them. They think you're totally done with them, especially that you walked away from them 10-4 or you blocked them. So I am seeing that they are not gonna be the one to reach out to you. And I know that's not what you wanna hear, but sometimes it's just is what it is. Um, the energy of your guys' future. We have the lovers and the ace of cups, which is a new beginning when both people choose love. Like both of you have to step away from your pride and step away from your ego about whatever happened here we have to go deeper on what this this truth is like like i'm saying your truth is like you are not done with this person you would love to take on the highs and lows with this person but again the knight of swords in reverse it looks like there's fear of communication fear of communication <clears throat> the strength card leo energy that's pride that's what I've been talking about this entire time. And there's nothing wrong with this. Like most of us feel this way. Like we d don't want to reach out, especially like if we block someone and we're like, F you, I never want to talk to you again. Or I don't know what, what the ending was between you guys. The five of swords shows us that you guys definitely had a fight. Five of swords is winning at all costs and winning at all costs is what? It's ego. It's you hurt me, so I'm going to hurt you. It's well, you didn't text me back, so I'm not going to text you again. You know, it's. All of those things that, you know, it may be true and it may be factual. Maybe they did do you dirty. But if you're wanting to reconcile with them, two, three, four, this is something you have to not just get over, but be willing to work through, be vulnerable, open up. And it looks like you and this person, the hanged man is in reverse twice, twice. That's cr You're getting a lot of repeater cards, which just is like, I said what I said. The universe says, I said what I said. Both people need to be willing to sacrifice if they want this connection to work. The five of swords. See, both people have to be willing to be honest about like what they did, why they did it, like what they were feeling, the vulnerabilities, the insecurities, and be willing to let go. And if you're, you guys are both not willing to let go, like that's okay too. Nobody's telling you to, you know, if this is something that's unforgivable, then why are you still watching this reading, right? And you're watching it because you love this person and obviously you you care and that's why you're here. So maybe that's part of what we need to admit to ourselves. 333. It's just sometimes I see in the comments, um, people are saying like, and this isn't about you personally or anybody personally. Sometimes I see in the comments like, oh no, three of swords. I hate them and I'm totally over that three, four, five and I never think about them. Why did you watch this reading? Why did you comment on this? You know, like this, the fact that they comment that stuff is the indicator that they're not over it. Because like if it were me, I would have like scroll. This doesn't resonate with me. Scroll. Why? I, I never listen to readings about a past person because I'm not into a past person, right? But when I am into a past person, I'll listen to readings about that. And that's, it's all fine. The point is admitting. Like, because that's what I'm feeling like the biggest issue is here. Is our ego is not letting us admit what our heart wants. You know, the heart doesn't care who texts who first and who said what and none of that stuff. Just our ego cares. Look, the lovers again, the lovers twice. So I see you and this person having a really beautiful future. Somebody's got to reach out and touch Peach. It's a booty. Um, but it seems like you guys are going to reconnect again. Tell me about this person's potential actions and behaviors. Somebody might sneak right up. Like the love might sneak right up. Like an awakening, an epiphany, a realization. Like 
you may, maybe something in this reading is going to make you cry or you're going to see a movie that's going to make you cry and realize like you know what i don't care i am gonna you know put my heart out there look justice because i don't want to be alone anymore look at this is uh, the Hermit in Reverse, which is saying we are kind of not listening to our intuition. We need to find our inner light, justice, Libra energy, and the, the Knight of Wands is we got to take action. So I am getting the message from this reading specifically. Um, we're needing to take action. And before you take action, definitely like do, do a perspective shift. The Judgment, the Ten of Pentacles. And the four of pentacles this is showing like you and this person are kind of meant to be together destined to be together this is like you guys retiring together having kids together if that's you know what you want to do right not everybody wants kids or i don't know how freaking old you are okay but we have to get rid of fear this is uh just fear it's a lot of fear specifically and it's also thoughts of thoughts of the burdens thoughts of like uh the worst case scenario too Okay, how is this person currently feeling about you? I feel like they're just like waiting. To me, it feels like 618. That's the day my dad died. That's like a big confirmation for me on this reading specifically because I know you guys do not want to hear. Everybody wants to hear. They miss me. They're going to call me. I know, but I just can't feed you guys that bullshit all the time. It just can't happen. See, what did I say? They're sitting fucking waiting. I can't even they're they're waiting like they're i feel like they're working on healing they've done their perspective shifts and they're just kind of waiting for you i told you the knight of wands to rush right in because they're manifesting you back but i don't know if you're the one again you you're the one that's blocked them or you told them don't call me or you broke up with them because there's something on their end that's like i need to give you space and i know it and that's why they're not going to reach out but if you could just you know let go this release card 707 you're protected in this let go and if, if you don't want to you know show up at their door with a stereo at their window you know it could just be something smaller something smaller and you can you can take your time and visualize this out is what i'm seeing like visualize the best case scenario you, you can straight up visualize like I ran into them at the store and they were happy to see me and I was happy to see them and the chemistry was good and it clicked and like whatever you're wanting to be so maybe you know imagine you and this person imagine me and you right here doing this sort of thing but definitely looks like they're super sad without you in their feelings they're sad but they're patiently waiting it seems like they're in the process of doing whatever their perspective shifts like need to happen so that they can show up in this king of pentacles or this king of cups well, i said king of pentacles for a reason the king of pentacles is my king of like marriage and tradition and stability and you have the ten of pentacles too which is like this person they're a planner i see a future with you and i'm just gonna wait until you can see the same with me so it's not like you're behind or, or you're the bad guy or nothing like that feels kind of like the, the whole collective is going through this sort of uh, transition. But there's your divine masculine energy showing up. So I hate to say focus on self-care because that's always the answer. But focus on self-care and it'll raise your vibration into joy and happiness and love. And then when you're in that vibration of joy and happiness and love, here's your ego death you won't be angry at them anymore. Like, it's not so you have to forgive everybody in your life and be friends with everybody in your life and everybody in your past, but it's letting go is for you. You'll feel the weight lifted off your chest and then the universe will be able to uh, pour in what they need to pour in. The healing energy for you, the, the epiphanies, the truth, the realizations, 999, feels like, feels like we're almost there. Feels like communication is almost there. Like, spend more time communicating with your true self and i feel like that will help you with the shadow work too or the shadow work is just seeing what you did wrong you know and i'm not again saying you're the bad guy but it takes two to tango in every single relationship okay 